Yeah, so um, this is a little review of the British Airways handheld brick game console since no one else has really put one up. Um, there isn't really much to say, it's pretty much just like any other brick game except it has uh, British Airways on the back, but I, I can find very little on the internet about this ever existing. Um, a few people had them up for sale on eBay, but uh, there wasn't really much other than that. Um, I've had this for several years, I don't really remember when I got it. Um, I used to have two actually, I think, and I gave one away, but... Um, <clears throat> Yeah, I think it was given out on flights, um, on BA to kids, maybe, like, uh, probably about 15 years ago or so. Um, still runs quite well, two AAA batteries. Uh, I'm not actually sure if it ever came with a screw there, or that the screw would actually work. Um, or maybe I just lost the screw. I don't know what that does. I'm too scared of actually opening it up. I think I did actually one. I, I did have one which I opened up and never fixed. Um, <clears throat> actually, that's what actually happened to the other one of mine. Uh, but yeah, I mean, like, there's a mute button which implies there's a speaker. But as far as I'm aware, these never had sound. Uh, and it was ages ago. But I think when I took one apart, I, I don't think it did have sound. A sound chip in it, so I don't know why that is there. Uh, that's a start, pause, and that's reset, and that's rotate. So, like, yeah, let me just quickly run through the games. It's standard brick game, 99 and 1. It has a, a sound logo, but that doesn't change if I press the mute button. Not that there's sound anyway. There's a flashing game over icon. That that always flashes on the menu. It never, never stops flashing. Uh, and, yeah, you know, they wanted 99. I mean, really, I mean, they're all the same game, really. It's a bit of a scam. Uh, but yeah, A, B, C, I mean, you have a bunch of different, uh, sort of old games, uh, and then from there, a certain point on, it's just all Tetris, and then 99 variations of Tetris, you can also change this level and the speed, I'm not actually sure what changing the level does, I don't know if this isn't, uh, the tank, for example, the AI is intelligent enough to, uh, actually change with any of the levels, but, yeah, uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, like, let's play Snake, for example, just to show you what it, you know, kind of looks like. It's just, uh, you know, um, yeah, um, yeah, there we go. I mean, like, that's all there really is to it. I mean, there are, like, a, a wild number of theoretical combinations you can play with this. I'm trying to get through them. It's taken ages, uh, you know. But, um, I mean, in terms of substance, there really isn't much to it. I mean, I think these are very uh, trendy. Not trendy, but I think these kind of brick games are quite widespread um, in the 90s and early noughties. And, um, yeah. I was, I'm quite surprised that BA actually made one, because these, these are just awful things, I can't lie. Um, <laughs> I mean, I know a lot of people like them out there, and, uh, yeah, this has given me many years of fun, but for BA to put their name on this is, is kind of shocking, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's, it's an odd thing. There's no, apart from British Airways, there's no identifying marking or anything anywhere, as far as I'm aware. Um, just really look into here. Yeah, I mean, that just tells you whether, what kind of batteries to put in. There's not really any identification or anything in there. I, I, I have no idea who made it, um, or where it was made. Uh, but yeah, I think it's an interesting bit of kit. Um, an odd time. Um, well, this one actually resembles Crossy Road a bit. <laughs> but uh, yeah. That is the British Airways Brick Game Console, year unknown, manufacturer unknown.